Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy, the Nitro General here, and welcome back to week three of the NPBA against the Mario Wonders and Coach Ninblox. Now, Ninblox is one of our biggest rivals throughout the entirety of the NPBA, right? Since like season two, and we, we've, uh, we actually fought him in season three of the NPBA. Was it season three? It was season two or three, whatever one I won, which was the um, BDSP. Uh, uh, season so uh, we actually won that one and we fought him in the in the finals which was really really cool and that's why you know I'm bringing back the threat of Ambipom who absolutely destroyed him that season for two battles so I'm pretty excited about bringing that threat back but he's definitely one of our biggest uh um, biggest rivals, so, yeah, but before we get into this, guys, before we get into the team builder and pregame press conference, I would really appreciate it if you guys would leave a like down below, and subscribe if you guys are new, we have a new episode, or a new battle coming out every single week for this season of the NPBA, guys, I'm super, super excited about it, it's been a lot of fun so far, and yeah, so, we are currently 2-0, and which is absolutely awesome, and he is 0-2, now, I don't want to put him down for anything because he is an incredibly good battler and uh I would I would not be surprised since like he was lost the majority of his battles last season and then came back and swept us with a palafin that you have guys actually didn't get to see that battle because I lost the the uh the footage of it that was after I decided that I wasn't going to continue making videos for that season um so but he swept, swept us with a palafin last season. So just because he doesn't have any wins yet does not mean that he can't come back and sweep us this, this season. And he's got an incredibly scary team. And a super, super scary team that consists of Iron Boulder, the new Iron Boulder, Polytoad, Manda Buzz, Aria Dose, uh, Chestnut, uh, Archaladon, Morgrim, Sylveon, um, Bronzong, and Torchic, right? He always drafts a meme pick at the end. So, he brought Torchic. I highly doubt he'll bring it. I mean, maybe I can convince him to bring it. Uh, but, but we'll see. Iron Boulder is extremely scary. Um, being able to have that move that goes through Protect, the, um, Mighty Cleave, is incredibly scary. We don't want to forget that, because that, if we go for a Protect and he just goes for Mighty Cleave, then we just wasted a turn, right? And it's got a lot of attacks that, and it's faster than regular Tracheon. So we do have to worry about that. It does get access to, like, close combat and stuff like that, too. So we really, really got to worry about that. It's incredibly scary. He does have the combination of Mandibuzz, Politoed and Archaladon, which is really, really scary because Politoed obviously can go for Drizzle, which makes Mandibuzz have 100% accurate hurricanes, and um, Archaladon can go for its Electroshot move that doesn't have to charge because it's in the rain, right? Which is just insane. He can't Terra it, though, so it's going to be uh, a non-stab move, which is the only thing we have going for it. But being able to boost his special attack... Uh, in the same turn is going for like a what 120 base power move 150 base power move it's just insane so we do have to worry about that the only thing we have going for us is that it's not the fastest pokemon in the world right does get access to stuff like flash cannon draco meteor um, body press stuff like that too so i uh, can go for all of those polytoad also gets access to money water gets access to encore we have to uh, worry about as well as like ice beam and stuff like that so uh if he does want to come in he can change it so we can't go for an aurora veil as well as he can just hit a lot of our pokemon with um just you know boosted rain money waters or hydro pumps if he wants to right mana buzz again like i said can go for 100 percent accurate uh hurricanes but it's more of a physical attacker getting access to stuff like it's get access to big pecs which is kind of cool does get access to tailwind if he does want it at, gets access to brave bird um foul play stuff like that so that's also an incredibly scary pokemon that we have to worry about it's very defensive so and then he's got aridos which obviously can go for sticky webs um sniper aridos is kind of scary being able to could could get crits and stuff like that it does get access to like foul stinger um x scissor poison jab um, a lot of stuff like that, right? Chestnut, I'm not too worried about Chestnut specifically. It is a good Pokemon, um, but it really just get a gets access to stuff like Spiky Shield, um, Body Press, uh, Synthesis. Um, I think I might get access to Close Combat. I don't know. I do know it gets access to Drain Punch. Um, 
and stuff like that. So it is a wood hammer. It's a Pokemon that we do have to worry about. Substitute could be a scary set on it, but uh, I'm not too, too worried about it, right? Sylveon is incredibly scary too. It's a really, really good fairy type, being able to just go for calm mind, substitutes, wishes, wish protect. Um, it's just very, very scary. You can't go for Wish and Protect um, simultaneously in this league, so we don't have to worry about that, but it is still a very scary Pokemon. Now, Morgrim is definitely a bigger threat than you would think. Prankster Bonds are very good, and with us having stuff like Aurora Veil, vale, he could easily go for a Taunt, right? A, a Prankster Taunt, and um, yeah, so we have to worry about that pretty heavily. It's not really super great otherwise, but it does get access to stuff like Fake Out. I think it gets access... I know it gets access to Thunder Wave. I don't know about Will the wisp um could go for spirit break um stuff like that so we do have to worry about more grand more than you think bronzong not really that big of a threat does get access to heat proof and levitate so we do have to worry about um uh ursa luna since i'm pretty sure he'd probably be a levitate in this matchup and not heat proof because spoiler we're not bringing zero ledge so um and being in the rain itself I don't feel like he has to worry about uh, being heat proof too much, right? Levitate's the big one. Does get access to screens, psychic, stealth rock, um, spikes, stuff like that. I don't think he gets access to spikes. Ignore me there. Uh, Torchic, obviously, is not that big of a is not a threat at all. But if we're being honest, Eviolite, you know, it could go for. Does get access to flare blitz? I don't know. I'm not even looking into it. If he brings Torchic and he sweeps me with Torchic. I deserve the loss at that point. I deserve it. There is no way that I can consider myself a legitimate battler if he brings Torchic and sweeps me with it. So guess what? I'm not even prepping for it. I'm not even going to look at it because if he does bring it for memes, I think I can handle it. And if I can't, then that's on me. That's on me. But I'm just going to say that right now. So that is his team that, that he has. Let's get into the team that I'm bringing. Hey guys, just want to quickly let you guys know that OBS screwed up and cut off part of the recording screen uh, during the team builder process, so unfortunately there's not very much I can do. I apologize, I hope you guys still enjoy it. Alright guys, so this is the team that we are bringing against Nimblox. This week we are starting it off with Mystic Water Milotic, right? With max HP, max special attack with a modest nature, remaining 4 in speed, right? We're running Skull, Ice Beam, Recover, and Protect, uh, and we're running Cute Charm, right? He's got a lot of physical attackers. If he goes for anything with Iron Boulder or, you know, Chestnut, potentially uh, Mandibuzz into Milotic, we have the chance of um cute charming so and infatuating it so that's that's the only thing i didn't really feel like any of the other abilities were good uh, marvel scale would have been the other only other or not or um competitive and he doesn't have anything strictly that's just going to come out and lower my stats so i'm not really too worried about that uh scald hits a lot of things i mean obviously iron boulder um and then ice beam hits mana buzz it hits chestnut um stuff like that if we need and then obviously just it this, this thing is obviously i'm really only bringing it because he has access to rain so if he has access to rain coming in with skull is going to be doing a lot more to a lot of his pokemon so yeah that's that's the main reason why i'm bringing it the next one up here is luke cage the hitmonchan we are bringing punching glove iron fist thunder punch drain punch rapid spin and poison jab poison jab is boosted by uh by iron fist and punching glove which is really cool, right? Uh, with this Thunder Punch, uh, two hit KOs, uh, Mana Buzz, and two hit KOs, Politoed, uh, Drain Punch, I believe two hit KOs, Mana Buzz still, um, as well as uh, two hit KOs, Iron Boulder, as well as um, our Chaladon. I think it one shots our Chal Chaladon in the, with this set. And then we have Rapid Spin if he does decide to bring Sticky Webs. And then we have Poison Jeff specifically for Sylveon, which can uh, two shot Sylveon as well. And more Grim. So we do have that. Basically, it's just coming in to do as much damage as we can. I could have run um, a Choice Band. I was thinking about running this week, but I thought Punching Club was probably better because he has so many different Pokemon that I feel like uh, him and Jam will be able to deal with. So running Max Attack, Adamant with uh, the remaining in left and speed he does have a fairly slow team 252 uh points in speed does allow us to uh outspeed mandibuzz does allow us to outspeed sylveon uh max speed sylveon and mandibuzz does allow us to outspeed uh, uh iron boulder so we're pretty much outspeeding his entire team with this thing which is really good as well as uh 
with Ursaluna. We don't really need to. I'm bringing more of an offensive Ursaluna this week with max HP, max special attack with a modest nature, meaning foreign speed. Uh, with leftovers, uh, Blood Moon obviously hits everything on his team for unresisted, except for it is resisted by... Well, I guess not his entire team for unresisted. It is resisted by Archaladon, uh, Iron Boulder, and Bronzong. Earth Power does hit Iron Boulder. It does hit Archaladon. does hit Bronzong if he's not Levitate, but I'm not relying on that, right? And then we have Moonblast specifically for Mandibuzz um, or uh, Chestnut. But I feel like Mandibuzz, if Mandibuzz is out, we're just going for Blood Moon in general. So uh, Moonblast is really there for the um, Chestnut. And then calm mind if we need it, but yeah. So next one up is we are bringing monkey. The amp pound with silk scarf technician, max a max attack, uh, max speed with an adamant nature, remaining form and HP. I had to bring this thing obviously because we've done so much damage to him in the past with monkey. I could not not bring him right. Double hit hits everything super hard. It is resisted by the same three that resist um, uh, blood moon, but it is still good. Fake out's really good. Thief is there for Bronzong. I don't want to be left in a spot where I can't touch that. And then we are Terra Fairy Terra Blast, right? That allows us to hit Mandibuzz. That allows us to hit um, Chestnut for super effective. More Grim. It allows us to hit Duraludon for more damage than if we were to go for a double hit. So um, we are going to be, obviously, Terra Blast is not going to be clicked unless we're Terra because then it's going to be special. Um, but uh, once, once we Terrestrialize, it'll go to physical and then be able to hit with a base 328 base power um you know fairy type move is just really really good in general silk scarf is just gonna make it so we hit everything it's gonna be doing a decent amount of damage to everything so uh there's that right and then we are bringing og the mew with max hp max special tap with the remaining four in speed with the modest nature uh with expert belt synchronize uh taunt protect dazzling gleam and protect uh and dark pulse i mean so we have taunt protect dazzling gleam and dark pulse so taunt is there specifically for like Ariados. Um, I want to be able to taunt that so it can't go for sticky webs, um, or be able to taunt Morgrem, um, Bronzong, Sylveon, all that kind of stuff. Protect is just because I want to scout towards at the beginning whether he's gonna go because this is gonna be our lead, right? We're gonna lead OG and another Pokemon, probably Monkey. We're not leading uh, Aurora for the for what I'll explain here in a minute, but. Um, Dazzling Gleam allows us to hit Mana Buzz, allows us to hit Chestnut, Morgram, Duraludon for neutral with the Expert Belt. So if it's super effective, it's going to be doing even more damage. And then Dark Pulse specifically for the Bronzong because, again, don't want to be walked by that thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm... It's going to be... It's going to be a good battle. And this thing, I think, is going to be really good because it's more of a, uh, uh, support mod again. And then we are bringing Mental Herb Snow Warning... Aurora, right? I almost didn't bring this thing, hence the reason why it was last. Um, I almost brought uh, Vicavolt, but just because I thought that that looked really good here, but at the same time, I don't need him. Like, Sticky Webs is not great in this matchup since we outspeed most of his team anyways, and uh, I didn't need him, you know, taunting me and screwing up everything in general. So, um, and I'm bringing Mental Herb, and I think Snow Warning is good because it allows us to get rid of his rain, as well as we're not leading with this thing because if he doesn't lead with Politoed, I don't need uh, to not be able to set up Aurora Veil, right? And we have Mental Herb, so if he decides not to switch into Politoed and he thinks he can go for a taunt with Morgrim, we are able to just brush it off and just go for the Aurora Veil in general, right? And then we're running Moonblast, Blizzard, Encore, Encore right? Moonblast allows us to hit a lot of things. Blizzards allow, allow us to hit a lot a lot of things. We are completely walled by Bronzong here, but that is all right. Blizzard allows us to hit just everything for just really, really hard in general. And then Moonblast is just really good. And then Encore, specifically, I thought Encore might be good in this uh, this week's battle because we can go for that if he goes for Sticky Web Area Dose, if he goes for um, anything with Morgrem, uh, stuff like that we could, we could worry about. So And then it outspeeds the majority. It outspeeds his entire team bearing like choice scarves in, in general so we are we should be able to just if we want to go for a free encore but that is the team that we are bringing against nimblox guys i'm really nervous if i lose this i'll never hear the end of it so uh yeah but um that is gonna be it and we'll get right into the battle all right guys so we are here in the battle for week four of the npba or week three of the npba i'm getting ahead of myself against nimblox coach of the mario wonders 
So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm really excited. He's got a really big threat. Here it is, actually. Let's just... Don't even have to wait. Don't even have to wait. And let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Okay, so he's got pretty much exactly what I what I assumed. Cool. All right, we're going to say good luck, have fun. Cuz I can't speak on here because, you know, you know, uh, we're going to move the camera up a little bit cuz you know, showdown is can't take any jokes. Okay, um he does bring Politoed, right? He does bring Politoed. Pretty much assumed what I everything that I assumed he was going to bring. Um we leave Mew and I almost want to lead Ambipom, but the thing is, is that if, or maybe I could lead Ursaluna, right? Let's just lead Ursaluna here. Let's just go all in. I'm not leading Ninetales because I'm not taking the risk that he won't lead Politoed. Uh, and then, so he can, because we are running Mental Herb, so we could, you know, obviously we could bring that. Uh, so he could... He could bring um, Taunt Morgrem, which is what I assume that he brings Taunt Morgrem for, specifically Aurora Veil, um, which is why I'm not leading it, because he's he's, he's either going to lead Morgrem, or I could lead, I could lead, uh, no, I can't, I can't yet, I gotta lead uh, Mew and Ursulina, that is, uh, that is what, that's what I'm planning on doing, we outspeed pretty much everything, I could, okay, so Rapid Spin is pretty much just, no, on. Okay, I could go Hitmonchan and Mew. I think it's Ursaluna and Mew is our best bet. Ursaluna and our Mew is our best bet. My thing is, is that I want it because if he goes for Tailwind here, are we we're, are we running Taunt and Mew? Okay, yes we are. Okay, so we're gonna do Mew and and there we should outspeed Manda. Okay, so he's not. I don't totally know what he's doing here. I kind of just wanna. I want an Earth Power on the Iron Boulder, but I'm a little bit afraid that he might go. He might go Mandibuzz. So maybe I just Blood Moon on it, or maybe I Blood Moon the Sylveon, and I just protect. Actually, I think that's our play. That's our play. Um, I'm not sure if Iron Boulder gets any Fighting type moves. Um, Honestly, why don't we just pull up the team builder here? I mean, we have we have another team, so let's let's just go um, iron. Well, or or my my uh, my keyboard's not gonna work apparently, and it, it might be dead. So, all right, let me let me plug this in quick. Uh, I think I can just plug it in. Okay, possibly, maybe. Or maybe it just doesn't want to work. Okay, well, uh, never mind. I guess we're not. I guess we're not seeing because this doesn't want to. Okay, I'm confused at why this is not charging. <laughs> I just want to see if Iron Boulder gets any fighting type moves. That's all. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just for some reason. All right. So Sylveon protected. Iron Boulder. Use Mega Horn. Okay, so this was just pretty much. So then I can just go for an Earth Power on, on, uh, on that, and then we go. We go Hitmonchan here. I don't know. I don't really want to. Because that way, because he could switch out into our Chaladon here. Uh, what's your defense? Special defense is way better. What's your defense? 194. And your special defense is way better. I'm a little nervous because I don't really just... I'm going to go... I'm going to go Milotic. Okay, there's the... Ah, man, he got it. He got it. He got me there. He got me there, definitely. I'm going straight for the Blood Moon into the Sylveon here as well as I'm firing off a Scald into the Sylveon. Actually, he could just double... He could just protect here. Um, I'm going to go for a Blood Moon into the Manor Buzz... And I'm gonna go for a protect. He he may protect with Sylveon here. That's what I'm assuming he's gonna do. Or maybe he'll just try and get damage off. 
How much is Mana Buzz doing to Ursaluna? I don't think Mana Buzz really gets anything. Um, I don't think Mana Buzz gets like body press or anything really. Let's let's just see Mana Buzz. Uh, um, nothing that really, yeah, yeah. Other than possibly being able to go for uh, Tailwind here, I could fire off a Moonblast, but I don't know if Moonblast is actually gonna do anything. So I kind of just want to go for a Blood Moon, and we go for an Ice Beam. I think is our best bet. Oh, that did so much damage. Okay, okay, Ursula, I need you to... Ah, damn. That really, really, really sucks there. Okay, um... Okay, what we're gonna do here is... Oh, that really, really sucks. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Moonblast into the Mandibuzz. And we are gonna go for a Protect here. I want to do that because if he switches... Actually, he may... Oh, man, that does so much damage. That Hyper Voice does so much damage. I'm still going to go for Moonblast into the Mana Buzz here, and we're going to go for a Protect. He may switch out. He does... Damn, he's calling all of my plays here. Okay, yeah, that just does an insane amount. I can't... I have to go Mew, and then... And then I'm clicking Scald on the Sylveon. That really sucks. Sylveon may sweep us here. Sylveon genuinely may sweep us here. I have to let somebody go down. And that's why I think it has to be Sylve or Milotic. I think it has to be Milotic and go for a Scald into Mana Buzz. Because I have to be able to get Ambipom in. So it can outspeed the Sylveon here. Yeah. I kind of figured. Do you have Water Absorb? You don't. Okay. Yeah. That does. Damn. Okay. Ah, uh, that really, really sucks. Okay, we're gonna go for a... We're gonna go for a... A Dazzling Gleam. Or I could just go for a Protect, and we're gonna click Fake Out on Sylveon. We need the... Polyto, there's no way. That's... Man, that, that really kills me. That he got two great plays off at the beginning. The fact that, like, he didn't just stay in and he swapped out to Mandibuzz... Knowing that I would go for an Earth Power into the Iron Boulder is really what kills me here. Because that, if I just went for the, the Blood Moon into the Sylveon still, okay. We're not, it's, this is not a, not terrible here. He's gonna go Hydro Pump into the Mew, okay. Um. Man, I don't want to let Ninetales go down, I don't think we can. I think I just fire off a D-Gleam and then I double hit on the Sylveon. This should be enough to... He's gonna Hydro Pump. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's it's GG's here. We just got 6 owed. This is... This is beyond me here, man. It really, really, really is. I'm gonna go for the Poison Jab, and we're gonna go for the Aurora Veil, but it's... You know... I mean, I guess I, guess I go for the Moon Blast, but it, it, it's kind of a situation now where... Man, is that Specs Politoed as well? We should take the yeah, we take the Sylveon Sylveon out, so we don't get six owed. That's I guess the bright side of this. Um, uh, he's gonna go for the Morgrim now, um, which is probably gonna be yeah. I mean, we gotta click fake or that, and then we gotta go. I, gotta, I have to go Aurora Veil here in order for us to do anything. He's probably going to go for a fake out onto Hitmonchan. And, um, but we, Thunder Wave. Oh, that's even worse, I think. Ever? Yep. Okay. Yeah. GG's. GG's. Yep. It's, it's over. We just got 5-0'd. There's not much I could have done because of that, that Sylveon. There really, really, really wasn't. Yep. Okay. Yep. Not, nothing, nothing that we could have really done there. I can't really be mad. It's like... It is what it is. I tried my best with that Hyper Void Pixelate. I should have just, I should have just led with, <sighs> he just, uh, I can't really, I can't, I, I played, I played it to the best of my ability. I mean, I mean, I led, led what? We're like, we led Ursaluna 
and in Mew, and our best bet was to try and get a Blood Moon off on the Sylveon. I did not expect him to just protect. I mean, it, it, it was a stalwart the first time, but then my only thing here is that when he made this play, I was expecting him now to switch out Sylveon into our Chalodon to take that, and then try and stay in and go for a me either another Mega Horn on Mew or go for another move on Ursaluna to get damage off. I didn't expect for him to totally predict my play to now go for an Earth Power into into the Iron Boulder. That that was our biggest thing, and then we let we let Sylveon get a calm mind up, and there was not very much more I could do from there. It's 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 just it really 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 sucked. And then I think he just did he one shot? No, we. Yeah, and I think then we made the yeah there there wasn't there wasn't anything I could do because he doubled on Ursa Luna, and it was if we would have got a freeze there it could have been all right but yeah it was it was a situation there where there really wasn't too much I could do there wasn't too much I could do yeah um man three moves no it's not three moves it just yeah, yeah ten moves but it's just like. There really, really wasn't too much I could do. There really, really wasn't. My whole plan of, like, mental herb and everything for the Morgram, he didn't lead with Morgram for some reason. So it was like I could have easily led with Ninetales, and then he could have went into Politoed to not let me set up Aurora Veil, but I should have just... Right, that, that was... Yeah, there really, really wasn't too much more I could do there. Can't be mad though. Can't be mad though. GG's to Ninblocks. Um, just means that we just gotta keep we gotta keep pushing on. Uh, if we do want to make playoffs, it does. We do have to get four and three, which means that we are only we need to win at least two more battles to guarantee a spot in playoffs. Um, if we would have won this one, all we would have had to do is one win one more battle in the regular season. But because we lost this, now we can only lose two more battles in this entire season. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I am a little salty. I am a little salty. I don't think that I played to the best of my ability here, but it is what it is. Um, we had some, we had two really, really good battles. I'm really, really proud of it. Obviously, we just had one kind of rough battle here, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll face him again and we can get our revenge later in the season. But other than that, guys, I don't really have too much else to say. Uh, he he just he outplayed me. He straight up outplayed me. That that's that's really the only thing I can say. So. Uh, GG's to him. But other than that, guys, that is going to be it for me. So like I say at the end of every video, I am the Nitro General. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Nitro General's out. Peace.